Hey, welcome to Ad Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Ether, Ether Fields. Fields. All right, so Ether Fields is an adventure game uh, designed by Michael Raz for Awaken Realms Games. Mm -hmm. Plays one to four players in about 45 to 90 minutes. Right. So we'll be playing the two player prologue. Cooperatively. Cooperatively. So after the break, join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. So we have ether fields here. We do. What is ether fields? It's a. It's we kind don't of, know. Yet. Yeah, we don't really know. So that's <laughs> that's part of the mystery and the joy of this game is that you don't really know what's going on. Right. And I can tell you, even though we've played this, we still don't know what's going on. Right. <laughs> and that's a pretty good thing. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, so we are in sort of this dreamlike world. Yeah, like a dream state. Like dreamscape, I guess. Dreamscape, it's kind of weird. Yeah. So we again, really again, we don't dreaming. know. But it's it's a freaky. We're in like, it's like the upside down. It's kind of like the kinda upside like down. The upside I down. would say it's like you've been pulled <laughs> into the upside down. You're trying to figure out what's going on. All sorts of crazy stuff's going to happen. So without further ado. Take a look at the table and we'll show you what's going on here. So this is sort of the main uh, game map where you'll be laying out um, different tiles. Now this game takes place um, sort of two different modes. It has sort of this overview land map where you could be traveling around the map with, with a group uh, character that mm -hmm. represents your whole group and you'll be going from location to location uh, dealing with random encounters and you know, shopping for new cards to build your deck and at its heart this game is a deck builder. Right. It's an yeah. adventure game as a deck builder. Um, but it also kind of feels like an escape room-ish where you've got to find You're clues. For, yeah, hints and stuff. Hints. Right? You've got to solve different scenes, right? So you've got the overland map world, and then you've got scenes where you're going to kind of figure out the mystery. It's sort of like zoomed in. So yes. you have your board that's like the map, and then you've got really where most of your gameplay is going to take place is here on, on this zoomed in scene exactly. map that you're walking around and figuring out. Figuring out all sorts of cool little yes. mysteries and trying to not only survive, but make the most out of the time you have in those scenes to build sort of your character up, right? Because yes. there's, there's definitely role-playing elements. Now, keep in mind, we're playing the prologue. This prologue, um, although it may seem it's ripe with spoilers, uh -huh. um, this was designed specifically for this demo. Mm -hmm. And it, we've been told by <laughs> designers that it, this won't give anything away. So we're going to go right. through it soup well, to nuts. Well, and having played through some of it, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't give, it doesn't we really, still yeah, we still don't know because there's, there's definitely randomness to it. Yeah. But um, if you can see the board, and we'll, we'll go through the mechanics really quick just so yeah. you understand what's going on here, right? So you've got a number of things. And, and the way you start the game, we're starting as if we started a little bit further into the game right. um, than what you would normally do. You Normally you'd have like absolutely nothing. So for this demo, we've uh, already randomly selected an action card to add to our personal deck. Now each character class mm -hmm. is slightly different. Right. Like um, there's there's really three sort of resources in this game that you spend, mm -hmm. like three icons. And like you've got the tough guy who's really sort of the red deck. Mm -hmm. um, like and, power. Like power, strength, fighting. And who are you? Um, my person is the lucker. The lucker. So she has, uh, she's able to re-roll. So mm -hmm. we're going to be doing some dice rolling. Um, so she'll be able to take advantage of some rerolls. Right, and she's like the orangey yellow she's like character. Yellow. And there's one more yeah. character that's green with this with this set, and and they're like a specialist. So they... uh, yeah, I don't know if yellow like means luck necessarily. I, but I guess it does. You'll see, you have like these red, yellow, green symbols right. for our test, yeah. and it'll make more sense as we go on. But um, you have this sort of player tableau where you've got your chest, and your chest is where you keep your deck, right? right. So this is your this is like your life and all your actions and everything. <laughs> So you've got, to get, you've got this deck, this chest. You've got a discard pile, and you're allowed to have five active cards from your hand laid out in your tableau that you can activate at certain points, uh, basically any point on your turn. And we'll explain how to do that and what mm -hmm. that really means as we go on. Um, but for all intents and purposes, like this is your play area, right. right? Then you've got this main board. And out here, we've got a bunch of different card piles that are going to be sort of like status effects. You've got suffering, you've got advantage cards, you've got random encounters that we would that we would go through, uh, mainly on the main map. We have our turn counter. We've got sort of these fate cards that, yeah. that kind of add some mystery into it. This is our action card card pool and that's where we'll be buying like upgrade cards from mm -hmm. we have an item deck and that yeah. item deck uh, will be items that we could acquire throughout the game in the beginning of this scenario they started us with five items right right of those five we're allowed to have three for this scene yes and the three we chose are um, we have the strategic plan so that comes with 
um, four of these yellow symbols that we could use, or um, each character draws two cards more at the start of each scene. So mm -hmm. we're going to be playing through this one scene. We'll get to take advantage of that once. Right. Uh, but otherwise, it would be passive. Uh, second, we have little helpers. So that's two of these little yellow symbols that we can use, or you can use two yellow symbols to re-roll any of your rolls. So that would be great for you because you don't have any opportunity to re-roll so to mitigate some of that. And then finally, we have the journal, which is two green symbols, and we can discard that to unflip two cards of any characters. in your in your tab active tablet. Yes. When the, again, that'll to make, use them again. that'll make yeah. more sense. Yes, because yeah. once you use a card, certain ones you have to flip over, and then right. they're no longer active, and you have to find ways to get them back active exactly. again. All right. So those are the three active items that'll be available to us. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them we can use repeatedly. Other ones we're going to have to put back into our yes. into our storage, and that's right. where our, you don't really lose them; they just go away yeah, for the scenario. Um, over here, you're just going to have some more map tiles and some uh, other uh, cards that are going to be brought you know, out. They're there. going to come out at some <laughs> point, right? Uh, we have miniatures representing each of our characters. Yep. They will go out onto the board once we enter a scene, or if we were to be, you know, to, to do sort of another uh, random encounter, right. we would be doing that with those guys. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We've each also taken a mask. So you randomly draw, well, not randomly, you select two masks from the stack of masks and there's quite a few I if I and with my head. <laughs> and you on the back get that mask for this scene right and this is going to be pretty much what we're using uh like some extra bonuses. passive bonus so yeah. i've chosen wisdom and okay. it says i may discard up to two cards from your hand to draw the same number of cards in the draw oh, phase so it allow me to kind of cycle through my deck a little better right. which is good and bad and you'll get yeah. that in a bit so um mine is luck <laughs> i have more luck because yeah, that's what i need because you're a lucker um so i may reroll a single roll for free, which okay. is great, because otherwise I have to spend some power to do it. So. Okay, I think that's everything. So I think, I, so I think without further ado, let's jump let's in, keep. right? So we're playing the prologue, and it's called Somewhere on the Road. So descriptive. So it says, and it tells you everything to do in these cards, and that's really what you need to just follow the cards. They're going to tell you what to do. As long as you understand the rest of the mechanics in the game, it, it's pretty much just yeah. you just follow what it tells you. So it says to enter Somewhere on the Road, which we're going to do, it's we need to take the 15 tiles and we have the 15 tiles already here. So 15 A, B and C right. and 15 turn one, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got the 15 tiles, we're entering this and we have some flavor text. Yeah, sure. That? So it says, I've been driving for too long. Raindrops hit the glass. The movement of the wipers is hypnotizing. The road stretches endlessly through the dark forest. A strong wind rustles through the treetops. Sounds like our night outside. Actually. It does, right now. <laughs> um, I see something in the front of the car. Someone, an instinctive turn, and the car falls out of the way. The engine goes out. The heart rate beats like a hammer. Between the trees, you can see the disappearing pale contour of the child. Something dark is following it. Something creepy. Is it just the wind, or do I hear a cry for help? I think it's just the wind. Yes, That's and then we also that. have our yeah. our timer. Yeah, so, so four, four turns. So what you do is you take, um, and this deck gets shuffled after every scene. Mm -hmm. So we are going to start with a fresh four cards. So this is your turn counter, one, two, three, four. And, and our you, goal is to leave the forest. Turn them face up. Now, this is not only a turn counter, but it's also the AI for any... Um, beings on right. the map, any enemies really. So it'll tell you what symbol of action they're going to take, and it'll mm -hmm. also tell you any additional uh, things that they're going to do. There's no entities on the map right now, right. so we're safe, right? So four turns, our goal is to leave the forest, right? So that's good, uh, and it gives you like win conditions, like what you what you earn for winning and what you get for losing, which mm -hmm. is you get nothing. Yeah. I've you said get to good not day. <laughs> All right, so these tiles, the 15 tiles, it tells you exactly which grid space to put them in. So we've got A2, mm -hmm. A1, A3, and we've got this 15C. So it doesn't actually have anything on it, so we'll hold on to that for a second. Um, so let's go. So to turn one tile, you flip immediately. Mm -hmm. And it says turn one on it. And it says turn one that. on it. So we'll just put C up here, even though I'm not really sure where that's going to go yet. But we'll, we'll know in a minute, right? And then we've got this, this uh, prologue, mm -hmm. which we can just throw over here for now. All right, so this tile is we're in a car. Right, exactly. So we have the car does not want to move. What's screwed up again? Um, so you have some options on this card. Mm -hmm. um, you can check to see what happened to the car, in which case you would go over here to tile 15A. Um, or you can run after that ghost that mm -hmm. you saw if you're feeling brave, and you can go over here to the tile 15 B. And it says, this phantom, this girl, reminds me of someone. No, it's not possible. And what's the shadow that chased her? 
So. I think you need to find out. I think I don't. <laughs> uh, so now we are actually going to be in this location, and there's a bunch of little S's for mm -hmm. our superheroes here, yeah. <laughs> and they're going to go there. So we're starting in like the driver's seat, right? right. We're, we're taking over, and this is split into four quadrants. Quadrants. So you're going to be able to move from quadrant to quadrant, and we'll explain how moving works as well. So um, I think we're ready to start our first turn. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So to get started, we draw up to five cards. Now this is yes. a very important rule. It's not draw clarify. five cards. We've clarified like all. Yeah. We had a lot. I'll tell you. After the first place, we had a lot of questions yeah. for the designer, um, and we were told exactly what we needed to know exactly. to yes. clarify a lot of these little ambigu uh, ambiguities because the rule book is still being edited. It's worked on, so a lot of things are kind of. If you just take it as it is and you think it's oh well, they're implying this. Right. You're usually wrong. So yeah. and we were very wrong the first time we played this. So draw f up to five. Since we don't have any, we're drawing five. But Five. we're actually going to drive, we're going to get two more. Two more because we have a strategic plan. It's always Draw. good to go into something with a strategic plan. <laughs> One thing to note, especially with these, um, with our, our cards in our chest, right? The backs of your cards are different for every uh, class. Right, yes. And they give you a unique power as long as that's showing. Mm -hmm. The action cards, as you start building them into your deck, don't have those. So you, right. you run the risk of having less so, But it's kind of like having an extra action out there all the time, yep. which is kind of good. <clears throat> Mine allows me to move. Now, now the symbols all have different names. So the red claw symbol, these are resources. Think of them as the resources, right. right? So one red symbol, the red symbols are called wrath. Right. So I remove uh, one wrath power and I attack for three wounds, which is very strong, but I don't have a wrath power. So right. it's going to take a lot for me to do that. Yeah. And mine, um, if I get three false, false. they're called, um, yellow. I can re-roll any one of my rolls, but I already have this luck person, this luck mask. So that helps too. you out. So. Right. And the, uh, the green ones are called contact and you right. use those mainly to talk and, um, to talk during, to, to talk to the spirits. So the main actions in a scene are to move mm -hmm. and you can do as much as you want mm -hmm. on your turn, uh, you, by spending cards, right? Your cards are your resources. Right. So for movement, you want to use false or the yellow symbols. And for every one, you get to move a space. Pretty mm -hmm. simple. Orthogonally, mind you, not right. diagonally. Um, if you have to attack, you're using the wrath or the red symbols. And if your challenge is to communicate with something, you're going to use these... Um, these uh green the green words, words. Yeah. it's called contact yeah. really so it, it, it creates words so so many words so many contacts equals a word and you'll understand that a bit mm -hmm. too okay. but so you are so player one playing. and you can yes, go right i in. have this you have the this crazy crazy thing. player one i all, the, all of wake and realms games that we get to to play i always want to paint them yeah they're like, it just they make you want to paint them. minis are legit. um okay so i will start by I guess I have a lot of yellow, so I guess I'll start by moving and maybe running after that ghost. Mm -hmm. So I will spend two yellow. Okay. False. False. Two false. Um, and I'm going to move like this. You're One, false. Two. Um, so I'm going to, or let's run after the ghost. Um, and we're going to add the 15 B tile if I can pay two more, which I will. The do. B tile. <laughs> the B tile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why are they down here? I don't know. Okay. And then I'll pay two more. Two more yellow, false. Yellow, false, to open so up this So what does that say? Tile. Yeah. So the challenge here was to pay two false to, to add, add 15 tile. B tiles. I'm running out there right now. And it says, help, dark woods, rainy night. Oh. <laughs> Great. Uh, following this voice, we wander through the forest, which lets you add 15 C, which is right next to us. Um, maze... Of, of forest, forest paths. paths. The following this voice, we wander through the forest. And then we can oh, also for, add six. For six C, false. So, so it's, it, it gives you yeah. two Follow choices on how you, want to, how you want to proceed. How do you want to proceed? All right. So, so what would you like to do now? I don't know. I mean, I could keep. I don't have any. Um, I don't really have greens. That's the problem. Okay. I have like a lot of red right now. Um, so the other thing that you can do with. Um, these cards is that like we said play them into your action or your active um, hand mm -hmm. and you can do that at any time mm -hmm. uh, the only thing is that you're only going to be playing cards out to your active section that have words on them so they're not going to be like these basic you know yeah colored and the cards. easiest way to tell that is the cards with the white corner in the mm -hmm. left 
are not able to be played yeah. as these. They're, they're called instants, and you only get to play them from your hand to the discard. Yes. These ones with the darker corner, and they usually have text on the bottom because they, they have multi-purpose, are the ones you can place into your active uh, tableau. Mm -hmm. And then you can use you can use them either for their text or you could discard them from here to pay the resources if you want. Right. And you could do that at the same, you could play it down into your active and then immediately put it in your discard pile, which would be mm -hmm. silly, but you can do that. So I will, I think I'm gonna actually put this regrouping down into my active section. Mm -hmm. And that'll give me some symbols. Symbols for later. Yeah, because like I said, I would like to kind of like move, but... And now I could play this, peeving, and actually draw X cards, right? Uh, if you put in your active, and then yeah. you discard it from discard your active. It. Yeah, so that one and allows you... this one you... will count, too. It will. So what I can do is play this down here to my active, um, and I'm putting them off to the side just so that you guys can see them. Otherwise, they would go underneath here. I'm just slide you um, a little bit, give you some okay. more room. Yeah. So the way that this will work is I can discard this card called um, Peeving, and that allows me to draw X red cards. Mm -hmm. So it's going to allow me to draw the number of cards equal to the number of these wrath symbols that I have. The number right? of red cards oh, you red have cards in your I active. Have. Yeah. Oh, so right yeah, now, yeah, like this one. counts as a red card. That's a red card. Oh, that's right. Um, like you've got this is a green card. So that's only gonna let me draw it's my one. green card. It's your green card. <laughs> You're so weird. Um, so maybe I won't do that then. Just stinks because I don't really have much else to do. You know. Well, you've done some things. I think I'm gonna keep these. Never mind. I'm taking it back. You can go. You're not gonna move or anything. Well, I don't really have anywhere to move to. Well, I mean, I would... You can get over there for next turn. All right. Because well, you're not going to be able to draw it. more than... You're not going to be able to draw any cards. So you definitely want to get these out of your hand. Unless you plan on yeah, using them next I mean, turn. Yeah, you're right. So I'll do um, I'll do two yellows and move here. I was just thinking if I wanted to get over there. Uh, well, there's I mean? two of us, so I can actually go over there. All right. And I'll put these down here. Yeah. I mean, the own. thing is, you want to get them out of here. You don't want to get you through do. your deck too fast because it's bad to do that. You actually take... Um, you will take penalties. Take for injuries doing for doing that. Oh, pain. You take yeah. pain. It, it hurts to, to, <laughs> to use too much. It's too much. All right. So, too much pain. Um, I'm going to just jump right in and start moving. So, pay one yellow. And these cards have one of each color and, you know, or. Mm -hmm. So, it's green or yellow or red. So, I'll pay my yellow to move. Up here, because I'm going to try to see mm. what's over. In oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I, I actually gonna... have to do a, a test. Oh, I thought you were doing it. I don't have enough to do the test. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, this is this is challenging because I don't have, you have to roll. enough greens to do that because it's going to take four. But I could roll the die. Yeah, roll the die. So there's this die. <laughs> there's this die I know. So what will happen is... You can pay, I could pay one green for this test mm -hmm. and roll this die. Right. And it's got a one, two, three blank, two blanks and an injury, right? If I happen to roll one, two, or three, I add that to my right. resources and I will pass the test. If I get a blank, I lose my resources and don't get anything. If I roll the injury, I take pain. Mm -hmm. So might as well show how that works. So okay. I will pay three green okay. to discard, right? And roll the die and see if I, I just need one because it's only right. a four, four contact. Yeah. Because I'm basically this is the let's check out what happened to, to the, the car. car. So, so you're gonna get out and I'll, go so like, I'm like go talk to the car out. and be like, what is wrong like, What's with up you? With you? <laughs> and I rolled nothing, nothing, so I fail. Would you this like test. to reroll? Um, too yellow to do that. <sighs> this is getting expensive. What else are you gonna do? You know. All right, I'll pay two yellow. Two. Bang. There All right, know. so I succeeded. And you're allowed to do that once per roll. Mm -hmm. Boom. So, Dark Woods, Rainy Night. Okay. We know. We know this. Um, place a universal marker on the zero space of the track below. Mm -hmm. um, the car drove into the ditch and we got stuck in the mud. Let's try to get it out. So, you have the option of spending four wrath or six false of yellow to move the marker on the track by one. Right, so, so we're going to have to are, do that that's our until universal it gets marker. to success, and then we can reveal a card. All right, so I'm gonna. it's going to take me a couple to try. So I can yes. manhandle it mm -hmm. with four red mm -hmm. or six yellow. 
Oh, I'm not going to do that this round. Oh, you're not. Okay. I'm actually going to put both of these in my active okay, for great. now, just yeah. in case I want to use them. So I have Peeving, which you have, and mm -hmm. I also have a Crowbar, which increases my attack. Good. So I'm actually done. Okay. So at the end of your turn, we flip this card. Now the entities would have gone, but they're well, we don't have any. They're not in this, and we go back to our draw phase. Okay. <laughs> All right. We get to draw up to five. So how many do you have? I have one. I don't have any, so I draw uh, up the full five. One, two, three, four. Okay. Boom. All right, you're player one well, again. We spent all those on that stuff. Oh, look at this. I have all these greens now. <laughs> this gun. It shoots occasionally. <laughs> it's funny. Um, interesting. So now remember, our goal is to get out. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, get out. And we only have four turns to do it. So we've already burned a turn and we really haven't done know, much, but but walk. I just like stepped out of the car and you just stepped out of the car. It took us a whole turn to do that. I know. Um, so I'm going to do this test. Okay. This four. Four contact. Four contact and you test. get to reveal what's here. Yeah. And I'm thinking about whether I want to. I'm going to go ahead and spend all four of these. Okay. Because I don't. Even you don't want to roll that my, die? I don't want to roll that die. Okay. So go ahead and reveal 15C. Boom. What is it? Help! It's still that same cry. Um, hazy figures in the moonlight. Is it possible that it that these are? Dot 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 dot. dot, 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 dot. Um, and that's a four contact test. And then there's is there anyone else? Hey, show yourself. It's a two contact test. And then soon my thoughts, memories. I have to remind myself. And this does tell us now where it goes. So it does go on A4 right okay. there. Okay. And whoops, all I have left are lots of reds. So okay, I'm not doing any of those tests. <sighs> all right, because I can't even move there. Well, you can't even move at this point. No, nope. but right. you know what I could do is I mean, does that count as a red card? That's that a is personal item. It's a red card, so you can put that down there and then discard them. You'd be able to draw three. If you wanted to get rid of your reds. Cause that's a red card. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I could do that and then discard regroup. No, discard peeving and draw three cards. Right. right? Yep. So you get one, one card for every red, including that one that two, you had active. Three. Oh, all right. uh, okay. I can work with that. Um, all right. So I could go. See, this one's a test to add the 15C tile, which we already did. Yeah, you could either do contact or false. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to move two mm -hmm. here. And I'm going to do this two test. Soon, my thoughts, memories, I have, I have to, to remember remind my, myself. I have to remind myself. So it's a test of two contacts. So you, you're going to jog your memory. I'm going to jog my memory. All right, so what does it ask? Is that for card 399? Card 399. So we look in this deck Let's and we, we find get. 399. Boom. What is it? <gasps> A vague recollection. Oh. Don't ever leave me again. Promise me. It's this creepy girl with the Oh, mask. it's Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry. Try to sleep. You must rest now. Okay, take the 508 card. Oh, man. You gain the signs wisdom card 438. So that's an action card. That goes right yes, in your hand. Yes, this goes into my hand. What is Memory it? Memory of. Oh. Discard. You may use this turn. You may use the... Oh, yeah. You may use the... Um, contact. Contact as... Wrath. Wrath. And then I gain the Signs Wisdom card, which is 438. Why do you get so many cards? If there's only one character in the location until the end of the scene, all actions from this location have their cost halved. Oh, so, so, oops. so just, I guess I'm we just can just keep that up over side. there and you get this wisdom now, card. Now, this is wisdom card, signs. From now on, you can look for the signs. Yes. Ooh. Open envelope number 77. We just happen to have envelope 77 right, right here. here. Take all the sign tokens and whenever any player notices a place on any card or tile currently used in the game, which is identical with one of the signs, hmm. That player immediately resolves the back of that sign token and removes it from the game. If a noticed place is in a location, the range is irrelevant, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we have a bunch of so we have a bunch of these like little pictures, little pictures of all kinds of stuff. 
So the way that this works is we're actually going to be looking through not just these tiles that are on the board, but it could be like in our cards, right? Like I think it mainly comes on, out on the map, though. Well, no, it comes out all over the game. All right, so all over the cards. we'll we'll keep an eye out for these images. Yes, we will. For this imagery. All right, so you solved that. That's good. Okay. Let me now see you remember. Go. I remember. The North remembers. <laughs> and I can use green as wrath this turn, but I don't have any wrath. Hmm. Um. Well, you have a lot of wrath. You don't have any green. I have a lot of wrath. All right, so what's you. The, what's that test over there? So is, is there anyone, there else, show anyone yourself? else show yourself or a hazy figure? In the moonlight, is it possible that these are something? So it's a test of four contact or two contact. Hmm. That's, that's four thirty-eight. Um, and I don't have any green, but I could always roll for green, right? If I wanted to. Yeah, but you're gonna need a two, and that's like a one in six chance. So. Yeah. Probably not ideal. I'm just gonna put this down here. All right. And then end your turn. And end my turn. Okay. I mean, I could move one, and I guess I'll move one over here. Okay. And then that'll be that. And also, keep in mind, at the beginning of your draw phase, you can discard as many cards as you want and draw up to five. Right. So that's an option, yeah. but it's not good it's to discard kind of cards. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I need to get over there and try to fix this car. So I'm going to do three yellows, and that's going to allow me to move three spaces. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and get over here. So I need to do a test of four wrath or a test of six false. Mm -hmm. I don't have four wrath right mm. now. Um, that's really tough, actually. Four that's, wrath? Mm -hmm. I wish I could give you mine. I mean, I could get rid of my cards here. Mm -hmm. So if I discard this one, why not? Okay, yeah. I can draw two. Okay. One, two. There you go. Perfect. I have no wrath. What? I need four oh, wrath. Oh yeah, that's right. This is all green. Yeah, that's not good. So that really didn't help me. Mm -mm. What do those let you do? Anything? It's no. Like we have switched. Like I need the greens. You need I know. Them. I should be over by you right now. Oh, too many spaces. Ah, uh, six yellow, though. Yeah, you could I, use this. I could use two. that. Yeah, let's do the strategic plan. So to put okay. that away, so we're going to we're gonna put that back in storage. I'm going to use the four, uh, the four false, things, yeah. and I'm going to spend two more to get six. So that's okay. going to push that up one. Yep. I could spend my crowbar for three and roll the die again for two. You could. That's risque, though. That's very risky. Do I do it? I don't know. Do I do it? Maybe I'll see next hand. So I'm going to okay. just activate Smarty, which okay. allows me to draw, and then I'll activate Inner Light as well. And I'm going to hold on to this. Okay. So that's going to end this round. We're going to go now. We've got two more turns. So let's draw up to five. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Four. Is it bad? Uh, I mean, it could have been better. Could have been better. <laughs> could have been a lot better. Ooh. Yeah, I chose some pretty, pretty Why would lame I need cards. This? From now on, after draw phase, discard up to X cards from your hand to draw the same number of cards. Yeah, it's not no. bad. No, I need it for the greens, though. It's my turn, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do... Should I roll? Just spend one green and roll? Why don't you just spend all the greens? Okay, I will. How many do you need two. here? Just two? Just two. All right. It's two. So... Two, add three turns. Yes, that's what I was so going for. Let's shuffle this up and add three turns. And then add the 170 tile to the random encounters One, deck. One, two, three. So we'll put these on the bottom. So now we've got five turns in here. It's going to get real now. So what are they saying? I'm looking for the 170 tile. Oh, add 170 to the random encounters deck. All right, so that's not really. Are there a number order? I know. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, so 170. So this is something specific that's going to go into our random encounter. So that's going to change some things up later on. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. 
Okay. All right. So. Is that it? Uh, that's all that happens there. Um, well, that was anticlimactic. Should I go up here? I guess? Yeah, I would definitely get up and All prep. Right, so I'll do a one. Well, I could play this three and then just roll. You can do four. that. Okay. So let me try that. No, oh, you got Perfect. it. All right. So tile uh, card three, four ninety eight. Four ninety eight. Boom. What is that? Follow me. Enough. What is that? Enough. What is that? Now Enough what? what? <laughs> Enough what? <laughs> <is that? laughs> <clears throat> it's not a child. It's something horrible. It's like a dog face, some wolfy thing. Oh, man. The monstrous shape begins to grow and grow and growing. Place the 460 card. Okay, there's 460. Where does it go? Oh. Ooh, here, see? Look, 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 look. Ah, roses. the roses. Boom. So flip it. Matches. So what's really cool about this mechanic is this is an A4 tile card that mm -hmm. will go right over yeah. our current map. So yep. it changed the look of the location. The monster's shape has become enormous. We hear snapping branches and a low growl. Place 222. So this is 222. This is not good. This isn't good. Why did you do that? I don't know. All right, so 222 is ah! the she-wolf. It's Shakira. It is Shakira, Shakira. All it right. is kind of. She's this one, right? Yeah, yeah, so we get to bring out this redonkulous mini. She wolf, it's crazy. So, yeah, she's going to come out and probably kill us. This is No, very... she's not. Well, I hope she doesn't. <laughs> so she's going to come out here. So this little symbol shows where she's actually going to yeah, go. Yeah, that little So she's going to show she's up like right there with me. in your square. She's looking yeah. at you like, I'm huge, and yeah. I don't like you. And she's like going to start you. doing stuff. But anyway, I'm going to resolve this. So I flip this tile, we get a key mm -hmm. and an ether. A key and an ether. Well, that's yes. pretty good. That's great. There you go. So that is spent. Awesome. It's like actual little key. It's ether. a little metal key. It's awesome. So she's got a lot of, of text on her, and it okay. basically tells you you can fight or communicate. So we either, um, to fight her, we're going to need to put three injuries on her, which are three of these, these um, little red right. squares. And for every one injury, it's going to cost us three wrath right. to do one damage to her. Or we are going to have to do three times the number of players, which would be six. Green. Words. Words. Okay. So green is called words. And every word or takes communicate three either. communicates, right? So And either way, she contacts. goes away. Either way, right? right? So, so we're going to have to figure her out. Um... Okay, well, I can put two hits on her right now. She's going to hurt us it, when she starts going, right? So I can she, put um, two hits on her. Yeah. Um, actually, I could do this, too. So I've got some things. I have some things. Um, I could wait, and we can see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, or I have this... Three. Oh, I have to pay three to do that, right? To roll the fate die. Right. And then discard this card. Nothing. Attack for one or attack for two. So eh, you want to just really wanna do that. you want to just I attack, can just hit her huh? for two. Two wounds. I That's can hit her for six two red. Wounds. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Two, four six. So you're gonna do two wounds to the she wolf. So one more wound. Unless I should just wait and kill her next time. Well, she's going to actually do things, so. I know. All right, so let's, I'd say put the okay. wounds on her and try to kill her next turn. Okay. Or I can come running over there and try can to. Can you? I, I, really, I <laughs> probably could. I have enough movement. I could probably do it. So I will, I'll take my turn. Okay. All right, before I go, uh, why don't you read the vague recollection? Yeah, because so. I was thinking about this. Um, so again, I have this vague recollection that I haven't been doing because I've been paying for a lot of stuff over here mm -hmm. at full cost. So I'm the only character in the location. So until the end of the scene, all actions from that location have their cost halved, um, including these. These are the actions. So that's movement. That's attack. That's communicate. Mm -hmm. So um, I attacked her with six um, wrath <laughs> symbols. Um, 
So that should technically kill her, right? I would think, because half of three would probably be one, one rounded up. One and a half rounded so up to like two. two. So I would say two, four, six. Six, right? six wrath should equal three three wounds. I say it should. And she takes three wounds. Right. So, boom. Dead. Discard the she-wolf current action marker. So we discard that. Mm -hmm. So she that's kind of like just discard her marker yeah. at this point. Right. right. So I think that's it. She's probably done. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't have just killed her next time. Right. So, what are you gonna do at this point? Um. So she's so she's done. She comes off the map, right? I think so. I mean, yeah, it doesn't done. say she's. You really don't want to kill her, do you? Well, I don't know if we do because it just discards her marker. So does that mean it stuns her for the round and she's gonna keep doing stuff? But I guess we'll just figure that out. Um. All right, so it is just remove the marker for this, for then. Yes, yeah, so right. She's not so she's kind of like she's just stunned for now. So I don't like how she's looking at me. I know. So basically, what we need to do is end the turn, but I have to go still. Yeah. Let's see if I can start this car already. Yeah. Can you? I'm please? really trying. Um, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't really have enough yellows to do this. How many do you need? I need one. One yellow. I can do the red. So like if I discard those two and I discard my crowbar, uh -huh. that's enough to move it up one more, right? Oh, to the two. Okay. Sure. I need six uh, well, false. I, I could roll, but I get one shot at this. Okay, or you can use this little helper. Let's use the little helpers. Okay. So I'll discard these two mm -hmm. and those two. Okay. For six. So that's going to start right. the car. Cool. Or so fix the car. 377. Uh, card, right? Card. All right. So let's see what this is. Yeah. 377. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's a cool one. Ah, neat. Okay. Um, so this goes on top of A2 right here, actually. So the road leads through a tunnel. Should we leave from here? Or let's run after the ghost, which is the same thing that's already on there. So this lays right over top. So now we have the option to leave. The forest, which is exactly what I we have want the to option do. to leave the forest. <laughs> You're messing with this. I'm fighting this wolf. thing over here. I'm just gonna get out of here. I think I'm, okay. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'll spend one yellow to move one space closer. Okay, and or actually, I would probably go that it's way. It's the same, I guess. So. You really want to sit here? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna go that way. Uh, I've got two greens, which isn't gonna help me right now, so I'm just gonna end my turn. Okay. And we are going to go to the next round. So we flip the next turn counter, and she is going to do. Number, now she does the thing. Number two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, since you stunned the entity, she didn't get to do her action last turn, but she's going to get to go again after the end yeah. of our turn now. So we kind of get an idea of what she's going to do, and then you can stun oh, her this is so bad. to prevent it. But we want her to do two. We probably should have let her do it last round. We should have. Uh, because this two is. Uh, she gets two words, um, and then you and then change her change. to something else. So we're going to see her She has convert. a moment of consciousness. Yes. So these so. really don't need to be here because you've already beat her down. Such a, it was such a waste. Yeah, it was. It was. But live and learn. Two, three, four. I'm running low on Me cards too. here. I have one card left. So what do you want to do at this know. point? I kind of feel like I just wanted to kill her. Did you already achieve that one? I think you did. I did. Yeah, because that was the memories. So maybe we should take this round to just prepare cards. For whatever's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to not do anything. You don't want to prep cards or No, anything? because I'm, I'm out of cards. Oh, okay. And I'd rather not, if I don't have to do anything this time. Okay. You know what I mean? I have. Like, I think you should probably move there. Uh, yeah, but. I can move, but I'm gonna, ooh, yeah. And you don't have to draw cards either, like. No, that's true. Um, I will, man, I have some good cards here. So, wh where do you want me to move? I don't know where I should move, though. I think you should go up here. All right, so then the I'll, tunnel. I'll spend two yellow to go up. Because that's what we're trying to one do, is leave. here? Yeah. Two, and then I'll spend two green. And do so. You pass. So you're not going to do anything mm -hmm. this round. So I'll, I'll do two green and I'll do three fifty nine. What do we got? Uh, oh no! Wait, th where are the keys? Did we lose them? Has anyone taken them? 
I don't know. Oh man, do you have a key? I do. We do have a key. I don't know if, if it's yes. Like the key but it what is, is a, key. a key we do have a key if yes when all the characters are on the a2 tile <gasps> you will leave the forest oh so i should go if not the car does not start and you must find the key so but we, i kind of have to stay there we found the, the key so can we leave with her sitting there i don't know so we are good to go i'm ready to leave so you know what i'm out of here one two you can just hang out with this i can she wolf well if i'm I have a discount. Well, I'm you've already moves. passed. So let's. Why can't I go? Because you passed. You were first player. It's Once cool you pass, you pass. No, it's, it goes in turn order. This is how it works. <laughs> I know. So she's going to do her right, thing. Let's see what she does. So she's going to get two words and then change her into the 77 tile. All right. Let's see what this I don't know what this details. is. 77. There it is. So what is it? Boom. She wolf again. She's another she wolf. Oh, see? She turned into a worse she wolf? Curses. Curses and curses what and she curses. What did she become? She just becomes the same she wolf. Uh huh. And, but you fight her for three and okay. you remove her from the scene. Oh, so now we actually have to battle so her. So now if I were to have fought her as this she wolf, yeah. I could have removed her. But instead, I wasted a whole bunch of time <sighs> not doing that. Well, that was her turn. She converted into the evil she-wolf. Right, well, good for her. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to kill her right now. Are you ready? Ooh, she will give... She can give you the gift. One that's character amazing. in range of zero. Gain one new random action card, and then she changes into 222. So she keeps converting herself. Yeah, we well, she changes we back to, to this no, lady. I don't like that one. But she gives you an item. An action card. Because like... I'm getting ready to leave this place. <laughs> Did we turn this? No, we're doing okay, it now. So let's do it. at the end of this round, she. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, wait, wait, At the end of this round, she's going to do the two, which is give you. She could give you a card, but then change back to the crazy lady. Additional movement roll before entity's action. Yeah, so she's going to move. But she's already on your space. And she's going to be dead in one minute. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to discard my memory of. Mm -hmm. And I can use green as wrath. This turn. Well, you're so going to fight her. Yeah, I'm going to okay. fight her. She's dead. I am killing her. All right. So I've got two, four, uh -huh. six. Six. Didn't we decide that could kill her? We did. So you killed the poor she-wolf, and all she wanted to do was give you a new action card. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to give me anything. You had a lot of good act uh, fighting cards for her. That I was did. pretty convenient. Um, And then... You can't move, can you? I have two. I can oh, all right. These. Yeah, you might want to do that. Just move. One, two. Oh, you've got to move three more spaces. I'm just going to pass because I do not want to move. Cookie. All right, so I could roll and try to see if I can get a three. I uh, wouldn't do that. So all right, so you, we don't have any entities this Yeah, time. you're going to have to draw up. I am. One. So you're about to draw a chart. So one deck is depleted, so you're going to suffer one... Pain. Pain. Or discard an ether. You don't have it. Oh, you do have it. You okay. want to discard it? Check oh, man. The, these are so hard to come by. <laughs> I know. Why? You want me to take an injury instead? I would take the injury. Oh, ether my. is like glued. I know. I know. And then you can hold seven injuries. And then reshuffle your deck. So that's not terrible. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't suffer yet. I will suffer on my next draw. Yeah. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, do I have six? I drew too many Oops. cards. Yeah, I didn't draw. Don't draw too many. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay, I drew perfect. too many. Um, so, my turn? Yeah. All right, ready? Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Three yellow. Three yellow. So you are One, boom, two, boom, three. boom. Boom. So, Let's when get all here. characters are on the tile, A2 tile, you will leave the forest. Yes. So, we are out of here. <laughs> So we've, that's how I drive. Is that how you drive? <laughs> like the, like, are you driving a bus? <laughs> so we have just gotten out of our prologue scene. I know, but I want to keep going. All right. So what happens next? So now we would go out and let me just bring on the world map. Show you. I'll show you. 
I'll show you. The world map. So this world map comes in this nice little glossy uh, envelope thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's glare. I don't think it is. I think it's okay. No, I think it's pretty good. So what would happen here is we, we'd we have a um, like a player one marker, right? Like a, like a group this, guy. I'll just yeah, use this green yeah. thing, right? So when you start the game, you start here at the awakening, right? And then from this point, we would basically start traversing the map. Um, and in one well, space at a would, time. I mean, you can kind of show them what happens because we did get a reward. Oh, for yeah. Things, so actually, so why don't we just go through that? for each character, uh, we get one ether. ether. So that's huge. Yes. Huge, huge, huge. And yeah, we're going to reset our decks because we're actually out of combat. Um, you do keep your, your, uh, your actives, yeah. though. So we would do that. We also get card 477 as a reward. So let's see what we get here. So we get. The first omen. Again, these flowers appear whenever a fragrant of the world begins to change when something from outside the world trying to get here. What's on the other side? I hope that we will find out in time. Or maybe it is better not to know. You discovered the first part of the Etherfield's secrets. Keep this card. Cool. So we found the first omen. And now we would start chapter three. So we're going to take tile 29 and 587 intro tiles. Which are in this envelope called... Intro tiles. Intro tiles. So we have a library and a mill. So these would be two locations we're going to want to look to get to. One's underground and one is in the swamps. Mm -hmm. So um, underground be here? and the swamps. There's the swamps the right there. Yeah. Here are the swamps. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'd have some, uh, some places to go. Mm -hmm. people to see and we would use our um, our same movement to kind of just move on this world map mm -hmm. to get to where we wanted to go and along this world map we would actually be encountering random things yeah so like this this space has a fate card and we, yep. would, we would reveal this and we'd find a strange hood right Ooh. so it, we would be an encounter right so we have right. two turns now to um, get three words on her and we would get out peacefully. If we fail, each character is going to suffer pain. So these are like just yep. random things that are going to happen. They could exactly. actually draw us into what they know, what they have is um, is an encounter map, yeah. where they're going to be putting miniatures on the board, our miniatures, and we're going to have to sort of fight them, fight fight it out, and traverse around the map, or do other things. Like every every entity is a little bit different. So yes. um, I don't know if we want to go too much further because I think I know <laughs> I think we've really kind of just given you a bit right. of what the prologue and how the game kind of flows in sort of the structured demo that mm -hmm. they wanted you to see. Yeah. Um, and really give you an idea of what more this game has to offer, right? Right. Um, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about anything. Uh, um, no, I mean, we can go into our usual okay. if you want. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and we don't talk about Kickstarters too, too much, but I will say that like from a component standpoint and just art standpoint and... Um, immersion standpoint, mm -hmm. it, I think that this is going to satisfy that itch to yeah. like have if you know an unlocky kind of experience, mm -hmm. but in more of a a, a long play. Yeah, kind of I, I, I think there's like ten ten sort of I don't know if you want to call them chapters or but right. it, it's it's going to have a lot of legs. I think oh, so. Yeah. I know uh, replayability is always a concern, but I think I, I think that they it, there's going to be enough meat in this game yeah. that. Uh, it's going to give you enough hours to make it well and worth the and price there's tag. Enough, I think um, there's enough, I don't want to say variability, but randomness yeah. that it will play a little bit different every time. So, you know, if you ha even if you're playing, like, let's say, a demo version when you get it to kind of learn the game, you may have this evil, you know, fox lady come out or whatever she is, she-wolf, mm -hmm. um, but she's going to do different things to you every time. You're going to have different cards every time yeah. to fight with. You might be playing with a different character. Um, so it, it really is going to be... Kind of a new, neat experience, I think, every time you play. Right, because you're building this deck. So, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to go too much into and our I opinions. Like, I like searching for these things. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know, but I like looking for them. Yeah, so this is a real <laughs> puzzler. Uh, it's so vastly different than anything I've played. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and it, it definitely, it, it reeks of Awakened Realms with far, with, <laughs> as far as art and component quality go and right. they, like they've been just hitting it out of the park lately so yeah um so really excited about this one mm -hmm. um i'm hoping we didn't give 
too much away, but we were. We were told that we, we were told that we so. weren't. So we, we felt yeah. a little bit more confident, just kind of laying it out there right, and hopefully yeah. getting some of the um, some of the rules. Uh, hopefully well, all the rules. Yeah, right. and it was. Yeah, I know. We like we said, we did clarify a lot of the rules, but with any Kickstarter, I mean, you know, rules these can are change, subject to change. Air. Yeah, the rules we have are literally printed on pieces of paper right now. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it was fun to play a game like this on the channel because we usually don't get to do like the time stories and yeah, like our yeah. campaign type games. Yeah, without giving it um, without away. Without giving it away. So it was nice to be able to play through a demo that we hope wasn't too spoilery. All right, so we will uh, put the campaign uh, Kickstarter details down below in the mm -hmm. comments. Definitely go check this out. Um, really excited about this yeah, one. Yeah, so. for sure. I uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.